I've always been drawn to social justice, even as a child. Uh, my father, I think, was also a, a very big proponent of that. But I also spent my summers with my grandmother and my great grandmother, my big mama. And I remember as a little girl watching Roots, which is something that our kids don't necessarily get to see. When I was growing up, Roots came out, I was seven and eight. And we all sat around the TV and watched it because there were only three channels. So when it came on, we all watched it. And it was a story of the African-American experience in this country. And I remember as I watched Roots feeling so emboldened at a young age that I will fight for my people and my people shall be free. I remember thinking as a little girl, I was like seven. And that's when I made the decision that I've got to become a lawyer. I've got to do something that can make a change in this world. And so I watched my grandmother clean floors. I would go to these big houses with her as a little girl and help her clean someone else's house. And I remember thinking, one day this is going to be my house and my grandmother won't have to clean it. And I remember thinking that way. And then I became very interested in biographies of historical figures who changed the world. And I began to see myself as them. So as I grew in my teenage years, I didn't know that I could do anything but fight for justice and become a social justice advocate, which is why I wanted to go to law school. And in law school, I wanted to be a civil rights litigator and do what Thurgood Marshall and Constance Baker Motley did to change the educational system in this country. And I got introduced to affordable housing and community economic development and the work of Charles Hamilton Houston, who encouraged all of us to be social engineers. We can create a world where all of us can lift every voice and sing. And that became my mantra. And that continues to inspire me today.